Water. Some take it for granted, yet others treasure every single drop. Yet it is valuable to all of us, as it's essential for our lives. There is huge inequality in its availability around the world, partly due to climate, but also largely because of whether or not there is infrastructure. For example, this reservoir massively increases the water supply's reliability, bringing life-changing impacts. Beginning to understand how civil engineering can transform communities is the reason I decided to become a civil and structural engineer. The water stored behind a dam like this one also are often used to generate electricity through hydropower. From large dams to local rivers, like this system here, hydropower can take many different forms in a variety of settings. My university is supporting my passion for infrastructure in low-income communities, such as through funding when I apply for a placement as a volunteer engineer working on micro-hydropower in rural areas of the Philippines. It was amazing to see the reality of what systems like this one meant to such isolated places, bringing things such as light to cook, read and feel safe walking the streets. For these vulnerable communities, electricity means connection, providing warnings of future typhoons so they can plan and prepare together. These systems may have seemed small, but their power is profound. Another opportunity made possible for university was a short and insightful visit to Kenya. I saw the impact of how a pedestrian bridge in Kibera, a slum in Nairobi, was used to not only make commutes to the city safer, but also to improve flood resilience and build community collaboration to sustain development. The bridge I'm currently standing on takes a novel approach to combine a compression arch with tension cables to create a path for people. It's been exciting to apply principles like this, such as developing my idea of a cable net roof for a ski slope structure. This is one of my university's engineering buildings. Similarly, this building shows how civil and structural engineering is about a fusion of restoring and adapting what we have and striving to construct inspiring and efficient infrastructure for the future. As our climates are changing with more environmental extremes, the demands on our buildings and infrastructure are only set to increase. Engineers' innovation and designing with creativity become a necessity to provide sustainability. I want to be a part of creating the basis for all who live in our world to thrive. Do you?